A mysterious model called Rift Runner suddenly appeared on LM Arena with no announcement, no documentation, nothing from Google, and the whole community basically stopped what they were doing to figure out what exactly they were looking at. The weird part is that it didn't show up as part of a public launch or a developer preview. It just appeared in the benchmark listings like someone at Google accidentally flipped a switch, and from the first screenshots people shared on X, the behavior instantly reminded everyone of previous Gemini 3 checkpoints like Lithium Flow and Orion Mist. Same style, same vibe in the outputs, and even the API signature logs looked very familiar. The first thing that really set people off were the vision tests. One tester showed a clip where Rift Runner apparently read a doctor's scribbled prescription perfectly something that GPT-5 and even some of the thinking variants kept failing at. Another called it soda for vision tasks, basically saying it's a huge jump over Gemini 2.5 Pro. And honestly, that one comment set off the biggest wave of speculation. Because if a model is that good at messy handwriting, low quality document scans, and small details inside complex images, then it's probably not Flash. The Flash versions aren't built to push multimodal performance this far. They're lighter, they're faster, and they usually don't deliver this level of precision. A few people pushed back though. One user noted that some of the physics answers were still off in places where GPT-5 thinking does really well. Another said the coding performance didn't feel like a full Gemini 3 Pro yet because the model still refuses to generate multi-file outputs. If you ask for a dozen React components in one go, it cuts you off and basically says it can return only a single message. That sort of behavior usually means the model is sandboxed. Google trains certain builds with strict single message limits during testing, mostly for safety or evaluation consistency. So a lot of hobbyists think Rift Runner might be that in-between stage, not Flash, not yet Pro, but the internal release candidate Google tests just before a full Gemini launch. And when people noticed that the naming scheme matches previous Google checkpoints, the theories were basically locked in. Lithium Flow, Orion Mist, now Rift Runner. You can see the pattern. Google always leaves these traces before a major update. They leak onto LM Arena, devs notice, X explodes, and then weeks later Google comes out with a polished announcement. And the silence from Google right now isn't helping. No blog posts, no model card, no mention on AI Studio, nothing. That silence is always fuel. Some users are joking that this is either Google or Anthropic trolling everyone because a few accounts swear it's Anthropic due to some stylistic quirks. Others are calling it Gemini 3 Pro outright. One user even said only this model and the new thinking-enabled Kimi can solve his math problem while GPT-5 still can't. There's also this brief clip floating around showing an Earth simulation made by Rift Runner. People were posting the entire 3.js code the model produced. It pulls color textures, specular maps, normal maps, cloud layers, an atmosphere shader, star fields all wrapped in ACES filmic tone mapping. But to be fair, the community pointed out that these are well-known templates and the model was relying on common 3.js patterns plus open source textures. DeepSeek models, Claude, Gemini, and even strong GPT-4 level models can already do this. So the simulation isn't proof of breakthrough intelligence. It's just proof that Rift Runner has very competent code generation for single file tasks. The whole ecosystem is on edge because Google and OpenAI are basically shadow boxing, with one dropping something wild every few months and the other firing back almost immediately. Speaking of responses, ByteDance just dropped their own surprise on the programming side. They launched a new model called Dubao Seed Code, and it comes with some very bold claims. The most shocking part is the price. Volcano Engine released a package for only 9.9 .9 yuan, basically the price of a cheap coffee. And the base call pricing for the model is so low that people started calling it the cheapest programming model in the industry. ByteDance says the model is not only fast but deeply integrated with their trade development environment, which helps it solve programming tasks with a level of precision that carried it straight to the top of the SWE Bench Verified Leaderboard. That's a pretty tough benchmark for automated code reasoning. What makes it even more interesting is that Dubao seed code is natively compatible with the Anthropic API. Developers used to Claude code tools can basically slide over with almost no changes. ByteDance even tested it with multiple code generation challenges from galaxy particle animations to Minecraft style zipper interactions, and it kept performing cleanly. They also ran it through complex engineering refactoring. The model was able to find bugs in old code bases restructure modules, and improve maintainability. In their biggest test, they had it build a full tour website for the Palace Museum. 
including palace descriptions and AI-generated audio guide buttons. Everything worked. So yeah, ByteDance flicked a pretty strong elbow into the coding AI fight. Meanwhile, OpenAI was preparing its own big moment, but in a very unusual way. They released GPT 5.1, and this time, the entire announcement had a strange tone. No benchmark charts, no 30% smarter claims, none of the usual performance marketing. What caught everyone's attention was a single line from the blog. We've clearly heard from users that a great AI not only needs to be smart, but also make chatting with it a pleasant experience. And that pretty much captures what 5.1 is trying to do. GPT 5.1 introduces eight preset conversation styles, but the real shift is that the model finally feels more human in a natural way. It cracks light jokes, understands social context better, and keeps conversations flowing. Paid users started receiving the update on November 12th, with free users getting it after the rollout finishes. Enterprise and education users get a seven-day early bird switch. API access for 5.1 Instant and 5.1 Thinking is coming within the same week. On the technical side, 5.1 Instant is the model most people use by default, and OpenAI made it much warmer while improving instruction following. It now has adaptive reasoning, meaning it decides when to engage deeper thinking. The company says it's doing better in professional tests like the AI ME 2025 math benchmark and Codeforce's style programming tasks. 5.1 Thinking received a different kind of upgrade. It allocates thinking time more intelligently, spending longer on complex problems and less on trivial ones. It also uses clearer language, fewer undefined terms, and a tone that feels more approachable. Both models follow instructions more reliably, especially with custom styles and personality settings. This update also adds new official personalities, professional, candid, and quirky, on top of the existing ones. There's a beta feature that lets you fine-tune responses directly in settings, things like conciseness, enthusiasm, readability, and emoji frequency. And ChatGPT can detect your preferred tone and ask if you want it saved permanently. OpenAI called this a step toward blending IQ and EQ more effectively. There is a serious side to all of this. OpenAI added two new safety assessment dimensions, one for mental health signals like isolation or mania, and one for emotional reliance to prevent unhealthy attachment to the model. They noted that GPT 5.1 instant improved on jailbreak resistance, but they were transparent that 5.1 thinking slightly regressed in some harassment and hate speech benchmarks. The instant model also showed a bit of regression in emotional reliance evaluations. They said they planned to improve these, but they wanted to disclose it openly this time. If you don't see the update yet, it's coming soon. And for people who didn't enjoy GPT-5 when it first launched, OpenAI is letting paid users keep the older model for up to three months as a transition period. And while all of this was happening, Black Forest Labs quietly pushed forward with their next model too. Flux2 Pro has already gone through alpha and beta stages inside their playground, and now it's an internal preview. There's still no public release date, but traces inside their system confirmed the model supports flexible resolutions up to 1440 by 1140, just like the original Flux. The Pro label suggests the first release is aimed at commercial and professional users, probably via API and playground access, with no sign yet of a free open source version. The original Flux earned a lot of attention by matching mid-journey level outputs, so the expectations for Flux 2 are high. Black Forest Labs is teasing more frequent updates now, signaling something is close. And that's the situation right now. A leaked Google model that might be Gemini 3, ByteDance dropping code AI that costs less than a cup of coffee, OpenAI shifting the focus to personality with GPT 5.1, and Black Forest Labs preparing another push into high quality image generation. All right, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this breakdown, drop a comment and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.